Hey everybody, I'm Ashleen Caino from the My Best Self Project and welcome to your weekend horoscope forecast for Saturday the 19th and Sunday the 20th of January. So first of all, I always do like a free mini shuffle and we had a jumper, we got the two of water, so exciting to see that. Um, secondly, as I'm shuffling, just a little announcement, it is a full moon on Monday, um, that is New York Eastern Time at noon on the 21st Monday. We have our full moon and it's also an eclipse, a total eclipse. So um, we've got very powerful energy going on on Monday with the full moon. So I'm inviting you to join my free new moon, or sorry, full moon release ritual that I'm going to be doing in my private Facebook group. It's totally free. If you're interested in joining and doing that full moon release ritual, uh, just click the link in the description. Um, it's in my Facebook group, the Soul Sister Tribe. I go live there and the whole bunch of us join on the the feed and we follow along with the ritual so that we can manifest what we want in our lives but also release blockages that are holding us back from manifesting what it is we want so again if you're interested in that please click the link in the description um so let's have a look at the energy for this weekend leading up to that moon okay so we have the seven of earth the ace of earth and the four of earth. Also, by the way, what I forgot to mention is uh, don't forget to check out my weekly taroscopes for each zodiac sign. They are up. They are on my YouTube page. Link is also in the description here. So no matter what sign you are, if you're Aries, if you're Pisces, whatever, um, there is an actual upcoming weekly video for you, which is going to talk about how this full moon is actually influencing you um, according to your zodiac sign. So keep an eye out for that too. All right, so overview of the energy for this weekend. I like it. Okay, so with this energy, well, for a start, they're all earth. <laughs> so it's very much about physical, material things, real life matters, okay? It's not about mind, it's not about emotions as such, and it's not like anything else, like creativity and passion. This is like physical, tangible stability and all that kind of stuff. So the overview is that seeds have been planted, okay? Things are being worked on behind the scenes right now of what you're trying to create in your life. There's definitely some kind of new opportunities coming in here, but it's really important to make sure your energy is balanced and aligned so that can come in. This is awesome. Okay, so we've got the seven of earth, which says seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. So perhaps you're freaking out about something. You're not seeing something manifest yet. You're not seeing something happening. You're being patient and you're like, seriously, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. I'm being patient. I'm relaxing. I'm aligning. I'm being positive. I'm giving thanks and, you know, doing the gratitude and all that stuff. It's not happening. So this is just saying like, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Sometimes this just happens. It's like whenever we're growing apple seeds and we're trying to grow an apple tree, that seed does not sprout overnight. That bitch takes a while to come out and you're like watering it every day and you're like is this dead is it happening and then one day boop, you're going to start to see little sprouts come out okay so it's saying just continue to nurture continue to work on whatever it is you're working on continue to give love to it continue to take action continue to fuel the positive thoughts and vibrations and feelings into it because they are growing behind the scenes they are getting ready to sprout rewards coming in and we know this because we got the ace of earth yeah it says the inflow of abundance a promising business venture important documents or contracts so this is very much about some brand new beginning when it comes to income when it comes to stability creating security it could even be relationships and family life, but definitely there's some kind of like, woo, new beginning about to come in here. Aces are no joke. They're like absolutely poof. This is the new beginning coming in that you've been waiting for and working on. So the seven of earth is just letting you know, have a little bit more patience. It's all going on behind the scenes. So keep having the faith, keep doing what you need to do, taking action and so on, because it's all about to come in. And then the four of earth, I feel is just letting you know, again, keep that balance, all right? It says being too frivolous or too cautious with money, good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate. So maybe you've been making good business decisions and you're planting your seeds and working on them and that's great. Um, maybe you're doing what you need to do with income and you're sharing and you're being charitable and that's really giving the good juju when it comes to the flow and prosperity and that'll come back around to you. But what I always feel about this card is that it's about being too out of balance with your income. Um, 
um, with your mentality with income that maybe uh, you're just spending too much when you really shouldn't be or the other way around where you're clinging to too much and being a miser when it's okay to like give to those um, and help others or treat yourself, treat yourself. Um, it's just letting you know that this feeling of being trapped or out of alignment, really the solution lies within you and just kind of shifting your mentality and making a conscious effort of not being out of balance and out of alignment when it comes to this, okay? So just having a little look at how you approach your finances and the material things in your life and not feeling so trapped when maybe you shouldn't be or if you're feeling super trapped, it's like, okay, there are solutions here in front of you. There are things going on here. Just continue doing what you're doing. Everything's gonna change here for the better, okay? Down with the bonus card, that two of water. I love this. I don't know why this hopped out. And I don't fully know how I can relate to it other than the two of water is about um, feeling harmonious when it comes to your emotions. It could just be a message that something significant is going to happen this weekend for you in regards to a love relationship, which is why I could be saying seeds are well planted here and new opportunities are going to come in to create more stability in that family and home life. Um, the two of water is a soulmate card. It says a relationship continues to grow close forgiveness the positive resolution of a conflict um, this could represent meeting your soulmate your soulmate coming in it's truly a beautiful card so I mean the message could actually be just don't be feeling trapped don't be getting out of alignment when it comes to your vibrations and your thoughts when it comes to someone significant in your life it really shows that you've been doing the work and the universe is be preparing for this new beginning to come in here to maybe create a home with someone very significant that could be a, a special message for someone there. Okay, so let's have a look at our angel message for to, for the weekend. Oh, okay, one fell out, so let's see. We got be willing to forgive. Now, this is interesting because actually the two of water says this. It says forgiveness. So this could be forgiving yourself because maybe you've been a bad soul sister and maybe you have been a little bit too crazy with money or a little bit too tight with money or whatever it is. Whatever's been out of alignment here, whatever's not been good vibes, um, allow yourself to forgive yourself or forgive others around you. The angels, um, sorry, says ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. So definitely we've got two cards talking about this. Some kind of forgiveness is going to go down, whether it's you forgiving yourself, forgiving someone else, and that's going to allow new opportunities to come in here to create more abundance and prosperity in your life and your stability and your foundations and all of that stuff. And I want an angel romance card today, I think, since we got that two of water. What are our love messages for today? Children, your love life is being affected by children. So perhaps they're, again, you're worried about creating that stable security for your children or, you know, future children. And you're worried about how can I provide? Um, how can I create a family whenever I can't even support myself? Um, maybe you have children and there's someone new coming in and maybe you're feeling a little bit like, oh, are they going to want me because I have a kid? Whatever it is, it's just suggesting here that there's some kind of issues um, regarding this to do with children, but it's saying it's okay okay, like the seeds are well planted here. There's no need to worry, okay? That definitely feels like there's some kind of new beginning coming in here, no matter what, with the significant person. Perhaps um, they express that they did not want you or they did not want um, children with you or something like that. It feels like this is gonna be overcome. Conversations are gonna go down where things can move forward because we got this forgiveness and we got this positive resolution of a conflict, this coming together and moving forward. So that could be a significant message for someone. Um, I'm gonna, just because it's the weekend, I'm not gonna pull um, an energy oracle also. Balance, angel of balance. So we've got angels around you right now who are really encouraging this balance, okay? This is a really important message when it comes to this four of earth, okay? Whether it's your finances or some kind of like mentality out of alignment here, call upon your angels to really help bring this balance in and know that like things are really working for your in your favor behind the scenes here. Um, it's just really about knowing and trusting in this balance. Also, you know, forgiveness in itself is balance too. It's not holding on to resentment or feeling like, oh, wow, someone hurt me or I hurt someone else. It's about creating that balance by opening this dialogue to say, will you forgive me or I forgive you, coming together, creating this balance in this relationship. So there's a big message this weekend of like peaceful resolutions coming in here. 
am going to do an Ascended Masters as well. You guys are getting a treat this weekend. <laughs> Let's just throw all the cards. By the way, for my private readings, this is what I'm like. I know it says in the description in my store, oh, you only get a set amount of cards. No, I actually just go bananas until I get the right answer. Oh, here we've got Come Out of the Closet again. We had this yesterday, or we had it on Friday. So um, this is just really about, again, standing true to who you are, knowing what you want, maybe expressing your truth. Uh, but it's letting you know that this is a time of just being really authentic to who you are and creating that balance within yourself. So if you don't feel like you're yourself or you feel a little out of balance, it is time to create that balance and really just shine your light and show who you truly are and not being afraid to step out and you know, say, hey, you hurt me, or hey, like, we need to talk about this, or not being afraid to actually truthfully look at yourself when it comes to your finances and what you need to change, being a little bit more responsible. Okay, finally, affirmation of the weekend. The key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. So this is really stepping away from, like, that feeling of like, I need this, I need that, material things. Like I said, all these cards are material, so I feel like there's a big focus on material gains, needing to have that money, needing to have that house, needing to have that TV, keeping up with the Joneses. It's really saying here that what you want to manifest, it's not really about thinking about what you need, it's actually just sitting there and giving thanks for what you already have. That's what I'm hearing. There's so much of this focus on I want, I want, I want, whether even it's a relationship, you're so focused on the kind of future getting it, rather than just being in the now I'm being like you know what I'm grateful for what I have right now that is the key that's the key to the prayer that's the key to meditation um, that's the key to manifesting it's that just forget about what you think you need and lean into what you have and being grateful and it will bring more of what you love and what you want to you huge message there that's also balance being in the now not being in the past or in the future but just being at peace right now for where you're at and even on the be willing to forgive card, it actually says, um, you know, clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. This weekend is about bringing more peace into your life, letting go of worries and resolving conflicts and so on. So just lean in to the good things that you have and lean away from the fears and the worries and the whole stuff that's outside of you and not necessarily within your control. Remember with the seven of earth card, it's saying seeds have been well planted. Just continue to nurture them, pour your positive energy in and you're going to see those seeds sprout in the way that you want them to grow. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this weekend Taroscope. Again, check out my YouTube. I have your videos up for every zodiac sign. And don't forget, join our full moon release ritual on Monday. Click the link to join my group. Other than that, have a wonderful weekend. Bye.